What's going on you guys? It is a gloomy day out here, but I recut my box and I got a bunch of wax. I got a pair of new pants today and we're gonna get out here and try and get those crooked grinds on lock. It's been about a week since I've been able to skate, maybe a couple days. I'm not gonna talk too much today because it looks like it's gonna start raining soon and I'd like to get a couple good attempts in at crooked grind. So without further ado, let's get the ledge out of the trunk to the spot and let's start skating and see what we got. All right, haven't skated in a couple days, so I'm actually out of breath today. I forgot how small my ledge is, so it's kind of hard to get technical with tricks. Like the front 50-50, front shove out. I tried for a while. You have to have a really quick reaction time, and you have to have your weight distributed perfectly for the front shove out almost immediately. The one that I got, it's been about half an hour. I haven't even started the crook yet. I'm taking it. I'm sweating bullets. Pretty hot today. These jeans though, man, I'm digging it. I'm digging the baggy, the baggy wear right now. I got that Kakashi Sensei t-shirt. He's helped me push through the session. We're gonna go for a back 50-50 and then we're gonna get right into crooks. Let's hope we have enough energy, man. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, I'm gonna leave that one that I just did up to you guys. I basically came to a full stop, but I did get a revert in or pivot, and it was pretty much one fluid motion, but I'm still gonna try and get a couple more. Hopefully, we can figure it out. So let's get back to it and see what happens. All right, something just clicked with me with this trick, with front side flips. Earlier today, I watched George Poulos's, I watched his trick tip video or his hack video on front side flips today. A couple things stuck out to me, which is why I wanted to give him a shot today. But I had one extra tip that I think will definitely help if you're trying to learn front side flips, if you're watching this video, and that is don't try and pop them super high. Whenever I do a kickflip or any flip trick, I really try and get some good pop in it. And if you've watched any of my videos so far, you see that I have some decent, I'd say decent pop. I don't think it's the highest ever, but I try to pop my flip tricks as high as I can, typically. When I'm learning a new trick, I do the same thing, which is probably a mistake on my end and is why it takes a little bit longer for me to learn some flip tricks. But with front side flips, you really want to get more of the rotation and it's hard to do when you're first learning when you're going for the pop, right? So my focus learning these, um, what has clicked in the last five or 10 minutes where I've landed a couple really late pivots, it's still a nice building block and foundation to build off of in the future, is that I'm flicking as fast as I can, right? And I'm trying to not pop as high, right? So I'm getting a nice fast flick so that I can land 90 and get a good pivot. So that's just my two cents. I'm gonna try and get a couple more and then we're gonna get back onto the crooked grinds. Hopefully after I took a little bit of a break, I let my body and my mind reset 
and we'll have a better chance of getting at least one or two and maybe just getting more of a solid lock in today and then we'll worry about coming out who knows maybe even we'll land one today let's get back to the front side flips try and get a couple more and i'll see you guys then two shinners back to back in the same spot. Oh God. Does that count? <laughs> All right, that's it for the front side flips. I hit myself in the same spot on my left ankle like three times in a row and in the same spot on my right shin like four times back to back and it is killing me. I think I made some decent progress with front side flips today. This is a trick that I have wanted since I was a kid. Uh, I remember trying a couple times and I thought of it more of like a hard flip body varial type thing. I can never really get it. Doing it the way that uh, George said in his trick tip has definitely helped a ton. I mean, I was able to land a couple 90 and then get a like a late revert kind of pivot thing. I think I got like one or two where it was actually kind of smooth considering that I've only been trying them for about 20 minutes. That's pretty good, man. I'm making some decent progress. I've been making some crazy progress recently with flat ground tricks, with some ledge tricks, with some rail tricks. So honestly, I cannot complain. As long as we're getting some kind of progress, I'm happy with myself and I, and I won't go home disappointed or bummed out. I know that those might not be bonafide frontside flips. Again, let me know in the comments down below if you guys think that those are bonafide frontside flips. I know I have a ton more work to do with them to get them consistent, but I'm sure if I landed a couple of those that I did earlier over a hip, I think they would have counted for sure. But again, I know that I'm not on a hip. This is flat ground, and so full rotation and movement after the trick does matter, at least to me. But progress is progress nonetheless. So I only have about 10 or 15 minutes left. I am gonna go ahead and attempt more backside crooked grinds until I'm absolutely out of time and I gotta go. Let's get to that and I'll catch you guys afterwards. I'm sitting on the bench, you guys, because my feet are killing me. I work six hours today, standing on my feet six hours straight, and came out here for about two, two and a half hours, and I got pretty far and got some pretty decent progress today. Not only with the backside crooked grinds, but with that front side flip that I was doing earlier. I wouldn't say the front side flips are perfect. Of course, we still have some work to do, but any progress is good progress in my eyes. And I know what I was doing wrong with the crooked grind, so I'm just gonna go over that really quick. Talking about what I was doing wrong kinda helps me decompress and it also helps me figure out the trick and maybe if you guys are having the same issue, it could help you guys in the future. So one of the issues I was having, like I was talking about before, was getting over on top of the ledge, which was, I think, just a fear response. I'm not comfortable doing like nose grinds. Honestly, my nose manual game is trash, so kind of getting on there and getting into that just weight over my nose is kind of scary for me. I'll get over that just like I did with the feeble grinds. I don't have any issues or doubts that I will, but right now it's definitely a fear factor type variable that I gotta work through. But anyway, that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I enjoyed coming out here and getting some progress and working away at a dream trick and actually landing you know, a dream flat ground trick. Frontside flips were something I've always wanted to learn and I just always told myself they're unattainable until now. So now I know I, I'm, I'm very close. I just gotta work a little bit harder and we'll get them very soon. And as always, keep safe, stay shredding. I love y'all and peace out. He's just chilling. He's vibing. Eating some fruit salad, baby. Yeah, what's up? <laughs>